moving to the second of these uh, workshops and later in the project. And just to remind uh, those who don't know what the uh, original goals of the project were, so it's about uh, creating uh, a new generation of intelligent medical and statistical systems um, using this technology of Bayesian networks, which you'll see examples of that throughout, with the ultimate goals, I guess, the societal goals about being all about increasing patient dependence and uh, decreasing their reliance on diet consultation, and basically, you know, moving the care to the home and reducing the associated health costs, etc. Now, the focus of today um, is going to be on the on the, on the, the progress of the medical case studies. There's going to be um, some peri I'll mention there'll be some peripheral information about the um, the other aspects of the project, which are about uh, um, putting you know, the the challenge, the, the sort of the sort of technical challenge, the non-medical one, was getting these uh, phase of network systems running on small devices. That's a big uh, challenge. Um, but we're not going to focus on that today. I'll mention something about the end of that. So the um, case studies, you're going to hear about the two main uh, uh, case studies, gestational diabetes and rheumatoid arthritis, and you'll be hearing presentations about the progress on that, including from a medical perspective and the basic network system support uh, perspective. We uh, were always going to do a, there was always going to do a kind of like a validation case study, a validation of the method of how you actually generate uh, the necessary um, data and networks for these type of medical uh, decision support problems. And that's in the area of chronic, um, uh, chronic uh, heart disease. What you are also, you're going to say, we're going to focus on those first two case studies. I'll just say a few words about the, that, the other example in a minute. But you're all, they're also, you're also going to hear about the uh, progress going on in the uh, user interaction work. So Paul, Paul Curzon will be uh, addressing that issue. Um, I don't expect you to see this, but the idea about the using a, um, a, a kind of a different case study um, to kind of like validate the method, that's actually progressing. And this, uh, uh, there, there's kind of a structured approach to this, and that's actually based on work that's going on that's actually um, where we've advanced the method for building these um, uh, models via so-called idioms, which are like template models. And, and you'll see in the other in the, in the examples of the real case studies, a similar kind of like feature is how we built these up from these, these sort of idioms, which it, yeah, identify things like risk factors, <coughs> symptoms, signs, etc. In terms of the, um, the theoretical uh, technological work, um, this of course all fits into the general um, problem of learning health systems, and Scott will actually briefly talk about that uh, later as well. The idioms-based approach, as I say, that example for the cardiology example, we've applied it there, and it's being applied in the other two case studies as well, so you'll see that. And then the difficult technological challenge, which I mentioned about getting these Bayesian networks to basically run efficiently on small devices requires improvements to the existing generation of algorithms. And although we're not addressing that today, uh, Maggie was working on that problem. Maggie Wang there is available for anybody who wants to talk to her about that. And uh, I do believe that's it, so I'm now going to hand over to the next one. Okay, so we're